Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a look at the new podium vehicle, the Albany Roosevelt. As always, I'm gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs, and ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if this Valentine's vehicle is worth it. And with that, let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. Now, first and foremost, this vehicle is based on the 1928 Cadillac 341A Town Sedan. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Uh, In-game it's gonna cost you $750,000 new. It's part of the sports classics category. It has four doors, which means it can sit four people, three passengers and a driver. And it's a very cool looking vehicle, released almost nine years ago as of the making of this video. So yeah, it's quite old. As for interactivity, ooh, that's a big engine. That's a really, really big engine. And uh, yeah, this is what you can expect from the interactivity interactivity of the vehicle somebody can speak today so you can open all four doors and the hood sadly the trunk is not uh, is not opened which is an, an actual well it's an actual trunk because it's an older vehicle it's a 1930s car and i believe this one was made famous uh, by al capone but uh, i could be wrong on that in any case this is the exterior of the vehicle i really really like the extra wheel we have over here and i really like the tape situation we we have and uh yeah oh no uh it's a pretty 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 car on the outside but uh let's take a look on the inside and listen to how it sounds okay first impressions uh well, we have two benches one on the back and one on the front as for the way the, we have no rear view mirror which is interesting and we have no side view mirrors which is also interesting hmm as for the way the car sounds... Honestly... Not bad! And uh, I just want to test one more thing before we go to Los Santos Customs, and that's... Ooh! Everything lights up! Yep, yeah, I wanted to see if everything was gonna light up, and uh, surely it does! Now, let's see what type of drivetrain we're dealing with here as we're making our way to Los Santos Customs. And, uh, well, no surprises here, it's a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And with that, we are off to Los Santos Customs to customize this almost nine-year-old bad boy. Uh, that sounded wrong. In any case, uh, this is my first time driving the Roosevelt, so I'm gonna give you my f initial thoughts and impressions of the stock version of it. And, uh, let's just manage expectations first and foremost. This is not a fast vehicle, this is not a great performing vehicle. It's a cool vehicle, so my uh, determination at the end is going to be based on the coolness factor of it. So, it's uh, it's not a performance vehicle, even though it performs quite nice. It's, it's very fast. Oh, it's very fast. It's very slow on the acceleration. It's very slow on top speed, even, even in its category. The brakes are pretty decent, but uh, it, it really handles quite nicely. It has very... Uh, it's it, it has it hmm the the weight distribution of it is very nice Ooh, and it's also very heavy as you can see by me hitting that suv and uh i'm really curious to see how it's gonna change after we fully modify it in los santos customs and as mentioned before this vehicle is part of the sports classics category in gta online and if you're wondering how much you can sell it for well zero because it's a podium vehicle so let's repair the vehicle and upgrade all the performance options up front so we don't forget anything at the end again. Now let's see, transmission and turbo, putting a turbo on a 1920s vehicle. That's an interesting concept. And uh, well, it should come to no surprise that the customization options are rather limited. Wow, the first one, as a matter of fact, is the license plate that we cannot delete sadly let's see now we can lower the vehicle okay let's lower it why not transmission turbo wheels we can change the window tint even though this doesn't feel right doing this so i'm gonna go with the none option and since we don't have a lot of customization options let's go and change the wheels of the vehicle this is, I would say, a lowrider. Ooh. 
Something that I don't like immediately is that the wheel, the extra wheel doesn't change based on the wheels we select for it. So that's kind of a bummer, but also, well, kind of expected. So, so far I like the triple golds. I kind of like these ones also. I'm, I'm looking for a wheel that kind of matches the original one. Yeah, let's go with the triple golds. Yeah, this kind of matches. Let's go with this. And let's see, tire design. You know what? I actually kind of like this. Yeah, let's go with the custom tire design. I'm surprised. And with that, wow, that was a lot of customization. And with that, we are uh, respraying the vehicle. And as always, I asked you guys, the viewers of the Bullshit Party, what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? And for this week, most of you suggested Midnight Silver. So guess what? We're making it Midnight Silver. Let me just... Uh, ooh! That's a pretty cool color. Thank you for that suggestion, viewers. And as always, uh, thank you so much to everybody that voted on the poll. And if you want to have some input on my videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I do these polls every single week asking you guys what color to make the podium vehicle in the video you're watching right now. So, cool. But uh, yeah, I uh, I already have a color ice white. Yeah, let's go with ice white. <laughs> Honestly, ooh, <laughs> this is just gorgeous. Uh, this is just gorgeous. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting something a little logo on the door, but yeah, this is just this is a beauty. Wow. Le uh, the one last thing that I want to see is if we can change the wheel color. We can. Oh, guys, this is it. Blaze red. Oh my god, this is honestly one of my favorite vehicles in, in the in the sense uh, in how it turned out. The only disappointment is that we don't have the red, the red uh, spokes on the extra wheel, but we can't have it all. It's a nine-year-old vehicle after all. And, oh goody, it's raining outside. How appropriate. But, uh, honestly, I am really, 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 really... I can't express how happy I am by the way this vehicle turned out. I really, really, really like it. Even, even with its limited customization. In terms of performance, well, it has performance. As you can see, it's very predictable. It's also very slow, but it's very predictable in the way it behaves on the road, which is always good. It's rather slow, which is not good, but you can't expect much from this vehicle. Brakes are a little bit better. Acceleration a little bit better. Top speed probably a little bit better as well. But the star of the show is the looks of the vehicle and I honestly I gotta say I really like how this one not only looks but how it turned out even with its limited customization there is just something special about the vehicle just by looking I mean look at how cool it looks the only gripe I have about the visuals is that the extra wheel doesn't match the wheel color we set for the vehicle but it is what it is as I keep repeating this is a nine year old vehicle so can't expect much. Maybe Rockstar are gonna, I don't know, modify this, upgrade this, upgrade this, uh, uh, let us upgrade it in HSW. I don't know. This is gonna be cool if if we can like slam this vehicle to the ground and upgrade it with modern parts. But all in all, I am rather so. Uh, honestly, I was not expecting to like this vehicle when I first saw it on the podium. I was expecting something very mediocre. And I got something in its category that's kind of okay in terms of how it drives and performs and all that good stuff. But the way it looks is just, in my opinion, of course, incredible. This is definitely going to be a staple in one of my garages. I am not selling this. I love how this vehicle looks. And um, let me know if you guys share my opinion of the way the vehicle looks and maybe how it drives. And uh, that's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you, as always, so much to everybody that watched. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and if the content helps you out. And uh, with all that said and done, thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Now let's go and pretend we're in a 1930s gangster movie.